Good Monday morning to you. I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Copeland heading out the door today. It's a bit of a foggy one across the Northeast High Line. We are experiencing a dense fog advisory until 9 a.m. this morning with visibility reduced down to a quarter of a mile at areas even less than that this morning. We'll continue tracking that through at least these morning hours, but windy conditions continue picking up across the Treasure State through this afternoon, especially through central Montana and the Rocky Mountain Front. Gusts up to 50 miles per hour through Cut Bank, even 40 miles per hour through Great Falls. Those purples there could see gusts up to 65 miles per hour. So we do have quite a few areas that we are watching today with that wind. So a winter weather advisory is in effect for the Rocky Mountain Front down to Cascade and Judith Basin. And we'll have those gusts up to 50 miles per hour, mostly through the central Montana area, drifting and blowing, causing some reduced visibility on those roadways. And then on top of that, that new snow on the roadways that does drift over could melt and refreeze, creating slick spots as we continue to warm up through the day. We'll see temperatures in the 40s, warm road conditions will melt that snow and then refreezing possible, especially through the overnight hours. Across the Rocky Mountain front, we'll see that winter weather advisory in effect until 6 a.m. on Tuesday. And on top of that, a high wind warning also in effect for that area from noon today until 6 a.m. Tuesday as well. Sustained winds 35 to 45 miles per hour, gusts up to 65 and those wind prone areas, especially right along the front, 75 mile per hour gusts possible like in areas in East Glacier. So we will continue to track a breezy but sunny day for most of the state. Snow doesn't return to the state until Tuesday at 8 a.m. across the Rocky Mountain front. We'll continue seeing that uh, snow become a little bit more widespread on Tuesday evening. Slight chances for Great Falls and the capital city. Cloudy conditions out to the north and east. By Wednesday morning, most of us waking up to that new snow on the ground, very light as we head into Wednesday morning, but becoming much more widespread as we head into Wednesday afternoon.